In this video, I'm trying to get hired by NASA, but really what we're gonna be talking about is putting together a three-dimensional space scene. So perhaps you're putting together a really cool solar system. In this case, I did something a little bit more abstract with say a black hole along with you know some orbits, you know, perhaps we're trying to point out something. But the point of this video is you're gonna be able to put together a spherical object in the center of your scene and be able to orbit whatever you want around it. Hey, what's going on internet? This is Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. Welcome to our channel. If you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Hope you're doing awesome today. If you wanna have more of an awesome day, you know, hit that like button because you know that makes everyone's day awesome. But we're gonna jump into our video and we're gonna get started. All right, so here we are in After Effects. We'll come here to our tutorial composition. Only thing I have in here is just a background on a gradient. You do what you want with this. You don't have to put this in here. Um, but the first thing we need to do is we need to go and create the actual you know, orbit and the central object, which could be a planet. You know, in my case, it's just going to be a black hole. So what we'll do is we'll come here and we'll grab the ellipse tool and we'll just draw out a circle from the center of our composition like this. And we can just center this in the middle of our comp. And if you don't want to use a random circle like me, I'll show you how you can put a planet in here in just a second, but I want to get the orbits set up, including the rest of the scene. So just stand by with me if you want to put a planet in there. So with our circle in here, what we can do is turn this into a 3D object and we hit R on the keyboard for rotation to set the X rotation to 90 degrees and you'll just see the outline of the circle right here. That's fine, that's where we need it to be. But then what we need to do is come here to lift tool again. This time around, we'll turn off fill so it's none and click on stroke and turn it to solid color and click OK. We'll use a stroke with a three and we'll use white. And from the center of our composition, what we're gonna do is draw a perfect circle like this and make sure that this is completely in the center. Fantastic. Okay, from here, we'll come here to add it with the shape layer. We'll come here to repeater. We'll open this up. We'll come here to transform repeater one right here and we'll set the exposition to zero and we'll bring down the scale like this. Perfect. And we increase the number of copies by a little bit and that's fine. And we'll come here to start opacity. We'll set that up to 12% so they'll fade out the size a little bit and that looks great. We'll come here to rotation. We'll alt click the stopwatch and we're just going to type in time asterisk 10. Now you can't see any animation because it's just a straight line. So what we'll do is we'll go to add and we'll add a trim paths to this. We'll open this up and we'll set the start to 33% and that's fine. And we'll come here to offset and we'll alt click the stopwatch and type in time asterisk 10 again. So now if we scrub through here, you know, we're going to get these randomized lines like this. And that's great. That's where we want this to be. All right. So now what we want to do is we want to take our lines and make sure this is a three layer as well. We'll come here to edit duplicate and we'll S run keyboard for scale and we'll just scale this up, you know, kind of match it up right there. And this time around, we'll bring the stroke width down to one. So it'll be a little bit thinner and then we'll duplicate our lines one more time and we can scale this up even more. So, you know, maybe I'll lower the opacity of the outer layer by a little bit. I think that's cool. Okay, so now that we have everything here, what we'll do is grab all four of our shape layers or the planet that which we'll go through in a second. And we'll go to layer pre-compose and we'll call this scene elements. Click okay. So now what we wanna do is we wanna make sure that this is a 3D layer and you turn on continuously rasterize this icon right here in the center. Toggle switch the modes if you don't see it, but make sure that icon is there for your uh, pre-composed layer. So now what we wanna do is we wanna go to layer new camera and we'll click OK. So we'll come here, we'll grab the camera tools. You can just hit C on your keyboard to cycle through them, but we want this rotation tool here. And what we're gonna do is just click and we can just start bringing this into 3D space. And nice, so now you can start to see that three dimensional look of this overall scene. And by using the other tools here, you know, we can zoom into the scene, bring it up and down. So just cycle C on your keyboard. And this will allow you to switch between the tools here and you can start to frame how you want the scene, you know, to look inside your composition. All right, so that's cool. So let me show you how you can add in your own planet if you don't want to use a black hole in my case. So what you can do is you're going to need a planet texture. So I have a tutorial on putting together a 3D planet. I will link that in the description. I'll go more in depth in that video. So what you're going to do is you're going to bring in a map of a planet, right? Like Jupiter here, for example. Not a great example for this, but whatever. And then we'll come here to perspective and we're going to add a CC sphere to this. Okay, awesome. Make sure this layer is a three layer. And as before, you'll hit R, set the X rotation to 90 degrees. And we can turn off the hole and then we go back to our main composition. There is the planet and you can quickly animate, you know, the planet in 3D space by going to rotation and you can come here to say Y rotation and move forward in your timeline and just animate the Y rotation and that will give it movement in the scene. So you'll see as this renders through, you know, that the planet obviously has revolved. So that's how you can do that. If you want to add a planet, go ahead and check out my tutorial for more detail on how to work with this. 
If you're looking to save time on your motion graphics while of course producing awesome work, we have thousands of templates right here for After Effects with our After Effects extension. So this is our extension that holds all the templates that we have and you can preview a template before you apply it. So this is specifically our Motion Graphics Professionals pack. We currently have 10 packs available on our website, but how these packs extension work is aimed to help you save time and produce awesome work. So you can preview a template before you apply it and when you find the right template, you click on apply and it applies a full animated template to say your After Effects project you can go into the template and quickly change out your title and with a few clicks of a button you can change the color of your templates very easily with our controls and back in your main composition everything will update and with these packs you have a handful of categories that you can use so we can come here and maybe add some accent graphics here so we have this category here called motion graphic shapes click on apply and literally with just a few clicks and under minutes worth of time we're able to put together a really cool composition with just two templates right here from one of our packs and by picking multiple of our packs you can quickly switch over to other packs that we have available so if you're looking to save time and produce awesome work you can take a look at any of the packs we have off our website i will link them below if you do pick up anything you will be supporting our channel so thank you very much and you can pick up our free pack where you can try all this out uh, and start producing work right away so with a scene like this, you need to add a little bit more detail to this because, you know, this is very plain, boring, doesn't have any context. So let's go ahead and add some cool elements to this. So another thing we'll, I'll link in the description is a star map. I'll bring this into our composition right above our background. And, you know, you can have these stars in here to help bring some detail to the background. Um, I'll toggle switch modes and set the blend mode to screen. So then I can see my original background here, which remember I'm using a gradient ramp on that. Uh, feel free to copy that if you want, but I'll also come here and go to layer new adjustment layer and I'll go to effect uh, perspective. I'm going to add a CC uh, spotlight to this and it's going to help narrow the light of the scene and kind of pinpoint what we're going to do. So we have this anchor point right here. I'll drag it off the screen or out, you know, outside of the, the frame of the composition and that'll help create a really cool lighting effect on the scene. And then we can also create another adjustment layer and we'll go to effect and your know, noise and just add a quick noise to this. And, you know, we'll set this to 10% uncheck use color noise. And one thing we need to do is make sure that, you know, with your scene elements, you drag this layer or the composition forward in time. So you'll have that variation around the rings if you decide to do that. Or then what we'll do to animate this, we'll grab our camera, we'll open this up, we'll go to transform and we'll add a keyframe for position. And we can also add one, say, for Z rotation. All right. And then we'll move forward here, maybe five seconds. We'll say the composition is going to be five seconds in length. You know, we'll come here and, you know, toggle through our tools here and we'll grab the one the straight line here. So will allow us to, you know, dolly into our scene. So we'll just click and drag forward and we'll zoom into the scene. And then we can come here to Z rotation and kind of increase that by a little bit. And that will help tilt the scene by a little bit. And this will help give it some nice movement to our scene so we can make it animated. And this is where you can also add some text to give it some context, you know, or you can go through your scene elements here and start adding in other elements, you know, in this 3D plane. So. So this is obviously one of my shorter tutorials, but I just thought this was really cool to come up with and put it out there. So that's another space tutorial done this time around. We really just did, you know, 2D motion graphics and, you know, turn it into a 3D environment. So I thought that was really cool. Hopefully you found it enjoyable and helpful for your projects. Perhaps you're gonna get hired by NASA. If you do, just hit me up, okay? But anyway, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We're posting multiple tutorials on here every single week. You can also hit me up on my Instagram. That link will be below. We have tutorials on there. And always be creating.